thinning them out. And... Might be Christmas time. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Welcome back to cabin version. Something new that we're starting. If you just joined us, and if you didn't catch my previous video, or one of my previous videos, um, we own 10 cabins. We own 10 rental cabins located in Sulphur, Oklahoma. And uh, this is kind of a little side project. I say side project, it's pretty much like a full-time project um, with this and the bison. So. Um, but today we're gonna do something. I'm really excited about I love pine trees and um, we ordered some Pine trees we ordered some Austrian black pine trees from one of our local uh, vendors here uh, pick of the day in sulfur and What we did is he, he got a he got us 20 of these pine trees in from Oregon and they came in yesterday and He picked them up. So we're gonna go pick them up today me and uh, Marissa and her baby girl Brooks. I've been anticipating this for a long time. Um, I love Colorado. Uh, we love Colorado. We love backpacking and uh, backcountry hiking in Colorado, places like that. And I just want to try to get that feel. And uh, you know, I won't, you can never create Colorado. Beautiful place. But, and we have lots of pretty deciduous trees here. We got lots of post oak. Uh, we got Schumard oak, blackjack oak. Uh, we do have some cedar trees, which I'm not a huge fan of. And they have lots of hickory trees here in Oklahoma and right here in the Cross Timbers region of Oklahoma, which these trees are great and they provide a lot of shade. But I want to mix it up a little bit and create some space with those um, pine trees and try to seclude a lot of my cabins a little bit more. So. And uh, I know this is new, but you know, I want to bring you guys on this with a lot of requests from some subscribers and uh, I think it'll be fun mix it up a little bit. I know you guys love my bison Of course, I love the bison too, but um, you know, we can do this every now and then if you guys like it So stay with us today as we go and pick up the pine trees and go through this first project of planting um, Austrian black pine trees throughout our cabins. All right Let's get it. Wind. Yeah, I am. Get these pines um, Austrian black pines all the way from Oregon we got them loaded up we got 20 of them so we've got some work to do got my little guest with me got baby Brooks with us she, uh, mom's doing a little bit of shopping she's roaming around she needs to get out a little bit she loves her plants so we're gonna let her look around and well we're gonna hang out a little bit
Okay, started digging the first hole. So these seven gallon pots, you're supposed to dig the hole twice as wide as the pot. And um, there's a little bit of rock here. And for the first one, it's not going very easy as you can tell from my out of shapeness. But so I'm really wondering if a uh, auger is gonna work better. I don't know, it's gonna take a long time to dig 20 holes, especially like this. You gotta dig them twice as wide and then the depth has to be up to the pot's depth, basically. Maybe a, the tree is a little bit higher, but I may have a lot of work cut out for me, but nothing's new, that's how it goes. guys finally dug i think it is i got it 30 inches wide almost three feet and uh pot was 15 inches wide like i said but whoo i'm glad that crap's over jeez but got our hole dug nobody likes to see people dig that's zero fun you gotta see me dig post holes for days you get tired of this it's gotta be an easier way I know you're going, don't you have an auger or something? No, I don't. Okay. Costs money. But you know what? To get these suckers dug, I don't even know what you use besides these hands to dig a hole like this. So, got our hole dug. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some uh, composite soil. Fill in the bottom of this. Got some root stimulator I'm going to use. And... Uh, I'm gonna put some of that in there and then I'm gonna fill the rest of it with some of this composite soil to fill around the edges of it. So let's get to work. We're gonna put our very first tree down, planted our Austrian black pine here at Rocky Point Cabins. <sighs> That's just one. That's I got 19 more. Lord. Day two, kind of ran out of time there in the evening. I got busy with the cabins and whatnot, but I think I have a plan. Um, I dug that first one and it was kind of a beast. That was a rough place to start actually because it was so rocky. But I think I got some help. I got some young help. Weston to come help me. A nephew again who helped me build my uh, build the fence over on the at the Cross Timbers Bison Farm. But so we've got them sitting here on the trailer still got some of them here and so we're just keeping them watered got partial shade here so they're close to a water hydrant so i'm just going to keep them watered until we get all the holes dug because that's going to take a little bit and uh right now gp rents um doesn't have that tool to use uh with that 24 inch bit on a um for an auger they don't have it right now so we're just going to dig by hand and uh you know what that's uh that's part of it and that's probably the best way to do it. So we're going to do that. Um, but first, I'm going to mark actually all of the circles. I'm going to mark them at least 
uh, two feet wide, you know, 24 to 30 inches wide, um, at least two feet. I'm gonna mark them with some marker paint here so uh, Wes can go around and, and start digging, having fun. I know he hates me right now, but you know what? If he wants to get paid and make some money, I can keep him busy digging holes. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing, really just picking out open areas, um, and what I'm doing is just checking the height and make sure we've got some vertical growth and then our wide growth on these trees because I think they get pretty wide and they can get really tall. Um, I don't know if they can get really tall here in southern Oklahoma, but maybe we'll see. So just trying to pick out some spots here, and I'm trying to watch the growth of the other deciduous trees um, these oak trees that are pretty good and provide a lot of shade um, and that may reach over into where I'm planting these pine trees. So I've had my helping hands, my nephew Wes and one of his buddies digging these holes and last night as you could tell we had a really good rain and fill up this hole now they quite didn't dig the hole as wide as i wanted them to um they have plenty of holes to dig and i'm gonna make sure they get get the width that they need I promise you so i'm gonna have to clean this one out but the good thing is is a lot of these holes that they have dug um got water in them and uh, that's a good start so um, I'm gonna clean this hole up and then I'm going to uh, get this please get this tree planted so Here's the fun part about digging and working with uh, Oklahoma soil, Oklahoma clay. That right there. Oh yeah. Fun stuff right there. That's what happens when you're digging after a good rain in Oklahoma. It's just making digging easier.
Okay, so it's watering time. I've got all the trees planted and I kind of rigged up a little bit of a system here I got. You guys try not to make fun of me, okay? I know my some of my family members will, my wife probably will, but you know what? Hey, it gets the job done and that's all that matters. So what I've got here is I'm in the old uh, Mr. Reliable golf cart, um, part of the cabins. And what I did was I found an old, I say old, it was in pretty good shape. I found a water tank, a sprayer tank, basically rig right here. I found it in the barn. Um, it came, became part of the cabins. It was with the cabins when we purchased it, so it was here. Uh, I rinsed it out. Yes, I did rinse it out really good, make sure it's free of chemicals. But I'm using this as a water system. See, it actually comes with a handle, and uh, I know it needs to go to a battery uh but i'm not doing that yet quite yet uh, uh but making up my own stuff <laughs> making it work so what i've got here is gravity okay so i've got my hose attached right here and just you know whatever works right It's not terrible. Works. And then when I'm done, it stops. It's okay to make fun of me, but hey, you know what? It may leak a little bit right here, but just a little bit, but it's okay. I found a good way to water the trees because I'm watering, I'm gonna water these trees every single day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today um, of cabin version of Rocky Point Cabins uh, slash Cross Timbers Bison. Um, just something that I was uh, excited about and ready to get these pine trees in the ground. It was a lot of work, but I'm really excited um, to see those uh, see these pine trees prosper and grow up big. And um, you know, it's a lot of learning. I had no idea really how to plant trees like this. And um, you know, when you you got a little investment on them you've got to really take care of them and so um i'm going to take care of these pine trees and water them um you know two or three times a week at least until they really get established especially because it's so hot here in oklahoma and our summers can be really dry but stay tuned with us we've got some big projects ahead of us um for rocky point cabins and for cross timbers bison um, we've got some uh, we've got some good projects ahead and some big ones too so stay tuned for the next couple of videos and uh, we've got some more work cut out for us since I got the summers off you know I can I can get a lot done so um, thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed um, follow us along with Rocky Point cabins and mainly mostly cross timbers bison you can follow us along with our uh, bison farm and uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. If you ever wanna come down and stay at the cabins, uh, you can go to rockypointcabins.com. I put it in the description below. Thank you guys.